Did you know a nuclear submarine once created a permanent radioactive dead zone on the ocean floor? On April 10, 1963, the USS Thresher was conducting routine deep diving tests with 129 crew members aboard. At 2,400 feet below the surface, disaster struck without warning. A pipe burst in the engine room, flooding critical systems with freezing seawater. The crew desperately tried emergency procedures to blow the ballast tanks and surface, but the reactor shut down completely, leaving them powerless in the crushing depths. At that depth, water pressure reaches over 1,000 pounds per square inch. The submarine's hull began to buckle and crack under the immense force. In milliseconds, the entire vessel imploded like a crushed tin can. The nuclear reactor core scattered across the sea floor, creating a radioactive debris field. Marine life in the area died or mutated from radiation exposure for decades. Today, that section of ocean remains contaminated, a permanent scar on the sea floor. The disaster forced a complete redesign of nuclear submarine safety systems.